So what is flexible manufacturing? Imagine Subway. The end result is a sandwich, but different fillings and breads can be specified along the way. Flexible manufacturing is a process similar to this, which allows changes to the manufacturing operation to be made quickly. It is implemented in situations where a wide variety of like end products are produced. The idea for this system was born in England in the 60s where cost, quality and speed of delivery were key emerging factors. The first iteration of this process was System 24 operating autonomously for 24 hours a day. This system has many advantages. As flexible manufacturing systems are fast to adapt to changes in demand, downtimes are reduced, minimising profit losses. Their flexibility allows failures in the manufacturing line to be covered quickly. Manufacturing companies with flexible manufacturing systems no longer need to invest in specialist machines and can reduce the size of their inventories as more bespoke parts can be made in-house. All these factors tend towards increased revenues and a greater catalogue of products able to be produced. However, the associated disadvantages are upgrading to a flexible manufacturing system does incur significant costs associated with restructuring management, retraining the existing workforce, hiring new skilled employees, upgrading hardware, for example, the material transporting infrastructure to cope with the faster turnarounds and computer software. It doesn't suit all industries, however, for example, traditional closed die forging due to the significant time needed to produce new molds. One company that has capitalized on a flexible manufacturing system is Precise Tool and Die in Ohio. Precise Tool and Die used to make products for the automotive and electrical industries. Changes in the global market meant they wanted to move towards low volume production with fast turnarounds producing precise components and prototypes. To achieve this, they invested in a modular 24 pallet Makino machining complex featuring an automated material handling system, 15 machining centers, four work setting stations and two horizontal machining centers. This required a new flexible scheduling management system and the retraining of existing staff. These changes led to a 40 to 60% reduction in cycle times, a 25% reduction in the use of raw materials and faster setup. This combined with the ability to run the system 24 hours a day has increased productivity. Ford also took advantage of a flexible manufacturing system as they wanted to build multiple models in one plant. They invested 550 million US dollars into overhauling the Michigan assembly plant, focusing on flexible tooling. Reprogrammable tooling was introduced to the body shop with 80% of robotic welding able to weld different sized vehicles. However, some processes don't suit the flexible manufacturing structure. For example, the paint shop equipment was standardized, not flexible, eliminating setup times. These investments meant that the Michigan assembly plant was the first to produce gas, electric, hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicles all under the same roof. So, to conclude, flexible manufacturing is ideal for industries where a wide variety of similar end products are to be produced. It requires significant retraining in the hiring of skilled workers and restructuring of organisations. It is not suitable for all industries, for example closed eye forging, and a compromise between flexible and traditional methods is often the best solution as implemented by Ford. And that's flexible manufacturing.